You ready? Let's do it. Today we're talking about building the 350Z. Uh, we pretty much just want to get out there, do some events outside of the autocross and HPDE. The closest global time attack to us is going to be in Atlanta, May 7th or 8th. And although it's not too far, about 10 hours away, it only gives about a month and a half to build. Roll cage, suspension, safety, aero, and tuning. Not to mention that seat time, we need to fine tune everything. If you guys are wondering what it takes to get your car from Weekend Warrior to Track Competitor, hit that subscribe button and follow along. We enlisted our good friend Sean from Attacking the Clock Racing. He's everywhere. Yeah, the Carbon Z guy. I'd say most people know me for the Z. Uh, it's our Pikes Peak 240Z that we uh, ran last year at Pikes Peak. You can find him posting constantly how to get things done in your own garage or shop. Yeah, uh, Pitts Brothers uh, 350Z again. I want to show you guys uh, something that it looks tricky to make sometimes, but it's actually pretty easy, even if you don't have the right tools. He loves to share info and demystify many of the challenges we have when planning our projects. No secrets here. He goes over what tools he likes to use, how he plans and executes these tasks, tricks of the trade. Cool stuff that you see at SEMA and practical stuff to keep you safe on the track. Here he is, in the middle of a project, putting together an Instagram story, sharing the process he goes through, unedited, just the first take, and it's off in space for you guys to watch. What this does is it takes this super wobbly piece of metal and makes it super strong. So uh, this is a great way to lightweightly, or that's not the word, lightweightly? Well, we're gonna use this word to make a stronger section. Today, we're working on the gussets that go in front of the roll cage. Just a piece of metal with holes in it. Well, those holes do serve a purpose other than throwing that cherry on top after the cage is done. They help attach some points and stiffen some areas, while dropping the weight but cutting out material, but gaining rigidity due to how it's made. If you guys want an in-depth look at gussets, leave a comment below. Maybe we can do a detailed video if you guys are interested. He also has some welding to do to complete the cage, but most of it's done already. He custom built the cage to spec last week. Tony. Yep. You know where this cage is going? Where is it going? No way. A full roll cage is pretty much required to participate in any of these events. We are about 90% done with that already. Even the door bars are pieced together, just waiting on some seats to arrive. Although the cage is in there, it still looks naked, just a shell and some pipes. Well that wraps it up for today's build. In the next episode, we'll be putting the wing together, crafting up how it mounts and seeing what's next on the list. Wow. You're a couple more minutes of uh, staying here is not helping. <laughs> That was it though, right? Yeah, yeah that's, I think that's, that's it. all I needed to do. <laughs>